is from Hassan. Hassan says, there is a hadith that says that a woman can take a man's intelligence away and another one that says there is no great fitna for men than women. What is the interpretation of these hadiths? As for the hadith they referred to in the beginning, the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, I have not seen any lacking in reason and religious commitment, but at the same time, more able to rob wisdom of the wise, except one of you women. So when they complained and inquired, why would we be lacking in reason and in religious commitment, the Prophet ﷺ explained by saying your lacking uh, of reason is Allah mentioned in the Quran that the testimony of one man is equal to two women. So you are half of the man's testimony. And the lacking of religious commitment is that a woman has her monthly cycle which prevents her from praying and fasting for about a week every month. And that would reduce her religious commitment, not that she's sinful, of course, but because of that which Allah is testing her with, she, she is lower in religious commitment than a man is. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, but at the same time, women are more able to rob the wisdom of a wise man. They have this wit, this ability to do such a thing with a man. So what does this mean? It means that the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, is highlighting to us the fitna and the test which women impose upon men due to their nature, due to their character, due to what Allah has installed in men, where men are known to be fond of women. So women with their charm and their ways can deprive a wise man from his intellect and they can play with him like children play with a toy and we see this in real life someone who's wise who's knowledgeable who is sought after for his advice all of a sudden trips and flips when a woman captivates his heart and mind He's wrapped around her finger and she has full control over him. And we wonder, subhanAllah, what's wrong with this guy? He's known to have a sound reasoning. But now look at him. This happens. Now, we cannot sugarcoat this. This is part of our religion, whether you like it or not, who cares? It is part of what Allah mentioned in the Quran. It is part of what the Prophet mentioned in the hadith that men have a higher level than women. Men have a higher step over women. And men are guardians and protectors, as mentioned in Ayah 34, Chapter 4, Surah An-Nisa. Al-Rijalu Qawwamun ala nisa Men are guardians and protectors of, over women for two reasons. Number one, because Allah favored men over women. End of the story. We, we can't sugarcoat this. We can't beat around the bush. This is how it is in Islam. You like it? You're more than welcome. You don't? <laughs> no problem. However, this does not degrade women. It doesn't mean that women are worthless as so many men use such hadith to look down at their wives or their daughters and sisters. Imbecile ignorance. They do this all the time. 
This does not change the subject. That Allah Azza wa Jal had favored men over women. Nevertheless, the Prophet highlighted alayhi salatu was salam, the aspects that women lack some competencies when it comes to men. And that is the lacking of memory sometimes in the case of testimony. So many women could be much more intelligent than men. They can be higher in education and in degree. They can be professors in mathematics and physics. And men can be deficient, can be ignorant, don't have the capacity. Yet what the Prophet was referring to was an aspect of Sharia which is related to testimony and being a witness over a specific thing. Likewise, their religious commitment, their inability to pray for seven or eight days a month or fast, this is a test from Allah, something that Allah preordained upon women. Women have no control over it and there's no sin on them. Nevertheless, this is how Allah Azza wa Jal mandated it. But there are so many women who exceed men in religious commitment. They pray more night prayer, they fast more voluntary fasting, they read more Quran, they can be more knowledgeable in Islam and in fiqh, in aqeedah. Does not mean anything that they are of a lower grade that we look down upon them. But this is how Allah made things so that the ship of life could sail on with one captain and lots of uh, um, assistants and helpers and Allah Azza wa knows best.